So welcome to Techno Dad Life, uh, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on uh, today's episode, we're going to be installing rsync. And so rsync is a quick and easy way to back up our files either onto a local disk or onto a, another server. And so basically, we're going to show you three different things today. So one is backing up first from our server to another disk that is attached to that server. Next, we're going to be doing a uh, sync with another server, and we're going to do, be doing two different ones. So one is a push, where we push from one server to the other. And the other one is a pull, so where we take information from the other server and then bring it back to our first server. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell button. And here we go now. Okay, so let's get started and show you three different ways that you can use rsync. So first we're going to go to our disks. Click on that and make sure that we have more than one disk available. So basically rsync can back up to different disks on, that are attached to our system. Next we're going to click on shared folders and we're going to create a folder that is not on the same disk. So here all our folders are on disk one. So we're going to create a new folder called backup. And we're going to select a different disk. We'll select disk two. And we're going to put everyone read write. And then we're going to click save. And then apply and yes. So now we have a folder on a different disk that we can back up to. Next, we're going to click on rsync. We're going to click add job. So we want to make sure that it is green and enabled and we want to make sure the type is local. That will back up to a local disk. And so the source folder is we're going to say our media folder. And then our destination folder is going to be our backup folder, which you can see source folder is on disk one, backup folder is on disk two. We're going to scroll down and we can set the times and how often that it backs up. And so right now it's going to back up on the 10th hour and 9th minute. So what we want to do is change this to star. And actually we're going to change that to 3, which would be 3 a.m. And we can do a day of the month, month, day of the week. And so we're going to pick day of the week and we're going to say every Saturday night. And so now it will back up every Saturday night at 3 a.m. One other thing is you can see right here it says delete files on receiving end that don't exist on sender. And so basically you can delete this so that your or turn that on so that your files are synchronized between the two. If you don't want them synchronized or they, you want them additional, so just adding on files, then do not mark that. Then press save. Next, pl click apply. And yes. Next, you can click on that and then click run and then start. You can see the synchronized synchronization is done and you can actually see some of the folders there that got synced. Okay, so next what we're going to do is back up our folders from this server to a different server. And so we're going to have to do this a little differently. Again, we're going to click add. So for type, what we're going to change we're going to change this. And so we're going to click on remote. And so you have two choices. And so first thing we're going to do is a push. So basically it will copy the folders from this server to the other server. And so the folder that we're going to copy will say our media folder. And next we want to put the destination in of our new server. And so now on the right you can see our server 
So what we're going to do is type in the destination for that. And so the format is first you type in the user of this server over here. And so we're going to have that as admin. And then you put an at sign. And then you put in the IP address of the server that it's going to. And then after that, you're going to put in two colons. And then type in the name of the folder that you want it to go to. And so for us, you can see we have different folders here. We have app data, downloads, and media. And we're just going to have that go to our media folder. Then we want to scroll down. And here where it says password, we want to put in the password for this server right here. And again, uh, same thing. We want to change the times to when we want it to back up. So for a minute, we're just going to put it on star. So then it will be at the top of the hour. And we're, again, we're going to put it at 3 a.m. And the day of the week, we're going to change to Sunday. And if we scroll down again, again, we have this delete option where if we want to delete the files on the other server, then we would delete them here or uh, enable this here and then it will delete it so they're synced. We're just going to click save and then apply and yes. Next, we're going to go to the receiving server and we're going to click our sync on that. We're going to click on server. We're going to enable it and then click save. And then apply and yes. Next, we're going to click on modules and we're going to click add. And so what this will do is enable the two servers to talk together. So here we're going to click on the shared folder where we want to save the data from the other server. So we're going to click on media on this folder and it automatically named that media. And then that is all we need to do for this one. And then we're going to click save. Then click apply and yes. And so here you can see the media module is active. And so next what we're going to do is sync the two servers. And here you can see we have the two media folders from the two servers. So here you can see the Z server is actually our original server that we started putting things on. And so what we're going to do is copy from here into the other one, into the Y server. So in order to do that, all we have to do is click on remote and then click run and start. Oops, and here you can see I actually typed in the wrong IP address here. And so this IP address should be the same as our other uh, server. So it should be 85, not 29. So let's correct that. Then click save and then apply and yes. Next, we're going to click run and then start and there you can see it copied over all the different files so we'll close that and so the next thing we're going to do is show you pull so that was push so we're going to do the same thing basically so we're going to switch this to pull type in our remote server address again and then put in colon colon and then media. And then we have to put a destination folder and we're going to say media. And it's already put in our password. Next, we're going to set the time and the time is already at 3 a.m. And we're going to click save. And then apply and yes. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually delete all the folders from our media folder. Okay, 
And then we're going to click on Remote again. And then we're going to click Run, and let's see what happens. And Start. And there you can see it copied back all our folders again. So rsync is a simple way of making backups of your server to another server or to an attached disk. And so if you like this video, make sure you like. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell button. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.